No, seriously though, either the grandma or the grandpa is dying. One of the grandparents. So nice bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> that prayer thing was pretty weird. I don't I really think they'll turn him in. Okay I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Yeah, sure, Maybe but don't don't bring a what's it what's that called? What's that flashlight called that lets you see the things on the wall of like dirty hotels? Isn't it like a a white light or something? <laughs> you gotta you gotta bring one of those into her room, dude. You won't believe it. UV light. Thank you, Coco. No way, Daniel. We didn't come here to dig into the past. But I want to see what kind of stuff she had. <laughs> you want you don't want to look at her toys, Daniel. They're not they're not like yours. Her. She's gone. She's nothing. Black light. Yeah. It's just us. You understand? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, Powers? You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Does it hurt? Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kind of itchy though. What? I am exhausting. <laughs> itchy? <Sorry. laughs> anyway. What parts? Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. Little wolf. What a fun, productive first night at the grandparents' house. Now they're bears. They're bears and wolves, I guess. No, they're wolves more than anything. <laughs> we the bears. They're not from Chicago. One week later, okay. Where's Daniel? Practicing his powers early this morning. Obviously, the grandparents didn't die yet. Or, we didn't, and or. Well, and, not and or, just and we haven't been <laughs> um, Man, brought in I could sleep all to the police. In this bed. But I'm way too hungry. I play eels and escalators again? That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. What the fuck? Hold up. Well, no, I want to look around first, but what was that not? Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. Did they just buy that, or he was that there? Spoiled. The fuck is that? Is that the grandpa? Daniel was training his precision with ease. Legos? Fucking awesome. the hell? Why do you bring this with? Why? Daniel, that's fucking creepy. Everything you have is pretty much, except for the camera and the, 
The old trap, the camera, and the canteen are fine. This croco disc and this demon blonde doll is fucking creepy as hell. Why do you have them? Cursed. See, look at me. Bring the productive stuff. Even the weed pipe. You. I don't know what you're carrying. Big Legos are called... Duplo? What the hell's a Duplo? <laughs> Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Without a camping set or gear. What the hell? When did you get this? Found it in one of the bedrooms. I finally have time to read now. Is that a real book? Probably. Maybe. Pretty Go downstairs to have breakfast. Well, should change. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Oh, what are his pajamas? <laughs> I can't tell what they are. Daniel, a total thug in his new pajamas. What? I what am I looking at? The only thing that like I can vaguely resemble from this poster is the two googly eyes on the little brown piece of shit kind of looks like Jake from Adventure Time I couldn't tell you what the rest of this is honestly that's a cool memento secret cabbing in the woods thanks Claire but I will never wear these things is that a chalk crisp I think that's pretty much almost everything if not everything. Dress before you go, dude. Well, no shit. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. Oh, hold up. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. Should have zoomed such in. A baller in his suit. Ah, what's happening? That's oh. cool. Claire dug this up for us. Froze. That's such a baller in his suit. This is pretty good so far. Inherent. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Mice. Hmm. Okay. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. You can get new clothes. You don't need to hold on. You just said yourself, don't hold on to the past. Don't dig up the past. Don't hold on to it. Why are you? Why do you have an 1897 right. fire department shirt? Sure. Go out now. Sean, finally. What the Sean, hell? He's like a little uh, Mr. Robinson. Okay. I'm glad they get along so good. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. Oh, careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> another day in the neighborhood, another day in the neighborhood. I don't wanna bother with that shit. It's been locked ever since we got here. Did I say Robinson? I meant Roger, yeah. I kind of don't give a fuck. I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. I used to hate brushing my teeth. Just like Daniel. <laughs> now I can't get enough toothpaste. What? Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. He eats toothpaste for breakfast. Can't it's get enough. Though. Everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the chain. have so many pills and stuff to take. Yeah, they Looks were big on old. trying to give him some cold medicine. I'm like, shit. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What'd that say? Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? 
because you're men, you're wolves. Alright, I guess I'll talk to him. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. I'll jump on the um, 930 then, bitch. It's okay. I'll take the next one. Yeah. I'll leave after breakfast. Don't oh, well, leave fuck breakfast. you. Fuck I you. Won't. <laughs> Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Nice fish tank. Where the fish? Oh, I see the kitchen one. Quick. I saw one. There's waiting for us. Nice plasma. Cool. What else you got? Like an MP3 or some shit, or a stereo or whatever. They're big on like. Uh. What are those I called? Bus. Much from the last time I came here. Oh my! Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. You're just waiting for bad. me. Feels like a cloud. Why is was it, whoa? Why is that so loud? Nice audio balance. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Damn, Your Daniel. Your brother is ready. Yeah, for real. I got ready before you did. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. I, I got ready in my seat, on. ready for breakfast. Where are you, Daniel? You're fucking with a train. Mm, what's on the menu this morning? Well, someone told me the coochie. <laughs> mm, mm, awesome. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo -choo. Are you being cucked, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> Calling Grandma Chief. <laughs> Throw Grandma off the train, that's oh, a great reference. Sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Ooh, burn. <laughs> Just like the Megs. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. Waffles? You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle. My friends, oh, there's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> there's more crime, more traffic. Nobody can go out anymore. Do you, do you not go everywhere. out with Grandma, Grandpa? Seattle, but it's cool here too. Well, it's certainly safer for children. Everybody out here is yeah, a neighbor. Daniel. We try to lend a hand. Like <laughs> Charles next door. He lost his wife. The Seattle Air feels bad, man. Things have been hard on him and his Feels son. good, man. It fixed his throat. Get lost or his back. Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Oh, Chris! I just, it just clicked! Stop, stop, not in front of Grammy. Do it. That was all me. Oh, all I me. I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. You keep bodies up there? I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? 
This is bullshit. Daniel, language. <laughs> Why don't you He's go to swearing outside? more than I am. You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean. And then oh, he's wearing the shirt I gave him. You won't cool. Promise. But be careful, nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. You get you get a snooty with me, Grandma. It's just Grandma a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It Lock feels it, like pop it, pop somewhere. it. There's no secret. We just want There's to wolf find in there. our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room. Okay? Is it 11 a.m.? Wow, I'm you did serious. sleep in. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. What was that? <laughs> I have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? I didn't click anything. <laughs> hey, come on. Chill out. We're not criminals. I didn't mean that, Sean. Maybe she goes Way to ruin my place. immersion, don't nod. <laughs> There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. I want to fly away. I want to fly away. Yeah. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Is that mushroom? Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired. Believe it or not. Huh? Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Steven could have stayed. That's yeah, Tandy's that's here. Like was yo, yo, yo! Like a mini paradise. Of course he would. Let's we'll speak to her while she's trying to read. We'll see. Hey, Claire. What's on your mind, Sean? Why's the light flickering? What the fuck? Dad's funeral. Why was that the first one that's highlighted? What'd you think of Dad? Dad's funeral. Married for how long? About the neighbors. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles. Oh, poor man. Used to be a basketball coach. But had to move out here after his wife's passing. Aww. He's Why'd got you a gotta... job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean... He's still a drunk, too. What's that? We tried to give him a hand. Keep an eye on his drinking problem. Yeah. His son Chris is a little angel, though. Is he? I think he could be a good influence on Danny. He wasn't when he lied to you. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. Took forever to tell him. Do you know anything about... Dad's funeral? There was a service. I missed it? Didn't make it in time. We? But we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. That's okay. ass. That's messed up. I just that's wanted to ass sure cheeks. Somebody took care of him. That's ass cheeks with a double side of ass. Hopefully, hold the we cheeks. Can go visit him at some point. At some that's... point. Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever, <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both Same. are married during Y2K. No, no, it's not more than twice my age. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I'm you old. You must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> not really. Lila? I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. 
I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. Leave? No. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, I didn't really know him that well. was his own person. What does that mean? That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Uh, what, what do you mean? Did you? I wish we would have. Some bridges you can't cross. I can only live with regrets now. Don't worry. Feels bad. The guy's taking care of us is more than enough. All he would have wanted. That's a very kind thing of you to say, Sean. Thank you. Well, thanks, Claire. You Enjoy are your book. very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. That is foreshadowing. I really do think she's going to die.